Rigid huddle weaving is used throughout the world. The reason why is because it's a simple weaving structure that basically does plain weave and if you want to do more than that then you have to incorporate to different designs. But all rigid heddle weaving is is basically every other yarn is going up. So I move the heddle that also acts as a beater and then I move it up which causes different yarn to move upwards then I take the shuttle and I run it through. Then I take the bead, beater, or also known as the heddle, beat it, and then send the shuttle through again. Now I do this over and over again. And depending upon how I put the yarn into the loom, how I warped the loom, I can create different designs. The design that I created with this one is that um, once the one section is all light orange yellow and the other section is reds and blues and then the weft yarn which uh, is coming off of the shuttle is a alpaca silk blend that was dyed red and orange and yellow. Now I'm using singles in the weft but not in the warp because just as you saw singles are a little bit more fragile. The yarn that is in the warp right here has been plied which means that it's two pieces of yarn or two singles that have been plied together. So as you can see with the singles you may run into them falling apart so you just need to make sure that you overlap them. Now your ideal weaving companion is an angora bunny that will sit upside down and sleep in your lap while you are weaving. Butterscotch here is an exceptional bunny because she likes to sit upside down and sleep while I weave. So every so often I can take a break and I can pet her and then I can continue to weave. I will be using her fur in another project after this one is finished that I have plied black merino wool with my beautiful angora fiber that um, I have taken from butterscotch um, which is a, a beautiful fawn color which against the black is just gorgeous. So I'm going to keep weaving. And the shuttle that I am using, this kind of shuttle, is actually called a stick shuttle. There are many different types of shuttles. Um, normally I use a, sh a boat shuttle which has a bobbin in it um, and is moves much more efficiently than a stick shuttle. But stick shuttles are nice to for um, different types of weaving, um, especially weaving that doesn't create as large of a shed. And what I mean by a shed is this portion where I'm putting the shuttle through that opens up when I move the heddle. And that really depends on the yarn that you use as far as and the loom that you use as far as what kind of shed you will have. The reason why I like to use the rigid heddle for my hand spun yarns is because it's very very gentle whereas my floor loom which is a jack loom um, creates a lot more tension on the yarn and with hand spun yarns um, you don't really want a lot of tension on them because they are not necessarily as strong as a commercial yarn. And especially if you're using singles, you don't want that kind of um, tension on it. The other reason why I use a rigid heddle loom with my hand spun is because it doesn't waste as much. Uh, literally, I will have be able to weave until the um, bar in the back gets to right here. 
and that is a big difference. My floor loom will waste up to 24 inches. And if you start to spin and you realize that you are losing two feet for every strand of yarn, that becomes a lot of extra spun yarn that goes to waste. So that's one of the other reasons why I really enjoy using the Rigid Huddle. This one that I'm using is the Cricut, which I use in my classroom. It's a very um, small loom, um, very easy for small hands um, to move the heddle back and forth and um, to ne negotiate the loom. Whereas I also have a flip loom, which I absolutely love, which has a longer heddle, which allows you to make bigger projects. So you really have to decide um, what it is that you're going to be making a lot of and then choose a loom that works for you that way. Um, I have two Cricut looms in my classroom because they are very inexpensive looms and they're also very child-friendly looms. The last thing that you need to know when you get tired of weaving and you want to stop, you need to make sure that you take the tension off the loom. So I will put the rigid heddle into the neutral position and then I will make sure that some of the tension has come off of the yarn. You don't want your yarn to be under tension for long periods of time and to prevent that when you're not weaving you need to make sure that it comes off of the um, that you reduce the tension on it. Then as soon as I'm ready to start weaving again I will put the tension back on but um, in order to prevent breakage or stretching of um, fragile yarns I will make sure that I take off the tension when I'm not weaving.